Hello guys, welcome back and I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. So we'll be covering, we'll be continuing with our part 2 of the surgery important definitions and pointer series. I am sure that this series will help you to revise all the important two markers and definitions which you need to remember for your five markers as well. So without much ado, let us begin. This is the part 2 of this series. I have already uploaded the part 1. You can check it in our playlist. So let us begin the part 2. Sebaceous cyst. It is a cyst of sebaceous gland due to the blockage of the duct of sebaceous gland. The gland becomes rescinded by its own secretions. It is also called epidermal cyst. It is, it is also known as retention cyst. The common sites are scalp, face, scrotum. It does not occur where sebaceous glands are absent. That is the sole and the palm. Elephantiasis. It is a chronic filarial disease characterized by inflammation and obstruction of the lymphatics and hypertrophy of skin and subcutaneous tissue. It is mainly occurring in the legs and external genitals. It is caused by parasites Vichiraria bancofti and Brugia malai. The rule of 9 or the Wallace's rule of 9. This formula is generally used for estimating the percentage of burns in the burn patient. Very 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 important. A burn question is generally asked for 10 markers and more importantly 20 marker and this 2 marker is also very important what you can do is also make a diagram of, of it to make it easier so the distribution part will look into it burns of head face and neck 9% burns of upper lip upper limbs 18% burns of lower limbs 36% burns of anterior tongue 18% and burns of posterior tongue 18% and the burns of external genitalia is 1% Clinical signs of lipoma. Slip sign. The edge is soft, compressible. Lipoma slips away from the examining finger. It is also lobular, mobile and round or egg-shaped. Sarcoma. It is malignant tumor which arises from the connective tissue, adipose tissue, bone, cartilage and skeletal muscles. The growth of tumor is rapid. It, is, it occurs in various locations of the body. It spreads by blood. There are more than 50 types of sarcoma. Some common sarcomas are osteosarcoma, angiosarcoma, chondrosarcoma, leomyosarcoma and liposarcoma. Hyponatremia it is, this, it is a condition in which the sodium levels are less than 135 millimole per litre. It results due to water retention, sodium loss. There are three types of hyponatremia. Hypervolumic hyponatremia, hypovolumic hyponatremia and normovolumic hyponatremia. Clinical features of hyponatremia the eyes are shrunken, the face is drawn, anxious and expression with an anxious expression, tongue dry, reddish brown in color, skin is dry and wrinkled, BP has reduced significantly, the pulse is fast, there is tachycardia and the urine is scanty and dark. Pyogenic abscess, it is the common type of abscess, infection, generally what happens is there is an infection which leads to death of the cells which further leads to liquefaction of the dead tissue and that leads to formation of pus. It is caused by staphylococcus. It has cavity filled with pus and lined by pyogenic membrane. Pyemic abscess. Pyemic abscesses are multiple abscesses which develops from infected emboli. Important word to remember here is emboli. It occurs due to circulation of pyomic emboli in the blood. It occurs in diabetics patients who, who are receiving chemotherapy and radiotherapy. It is also called as non-reactive abscesses and the treatment is generally give antibiotics and multiple incision over the abscess for the drainage. And lastly the cold abscess. It is a chronic abscess due to chronic disease. It does not produce sign of inflammation. Usually it is it occurs due to tuberculosis and cassation of lymph node from the cold abscess is generally seen. It is commonly occurring in the lymph node bones and joints. Ringer's lactate solution and its use. Ringer's lactate solution is a mixture of sodium chloride, potassium chloride, calcium chloride and sodium lactate in water. It is non-sugar, non-protein, crystalloid solution. The uses are, it is used for replacement of fluid in the hypovolemic shock patient and patients who experience burn. It is used to treat metabolic acidosis. It is used to wash eyes after chemical burn. Trigeminal Neuralgia It is a chronic painful condition that affects the trigeminal nerve which carries sensation from the face to brain. Trigeminal nerve has three branches. They are ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular branches. Multiple sclerosis is a prominent cause of trigeminal neuralgia. Gangrene. Gangrene is a microscopic death of tissue with superadded putrefaction. 
It affects the limbs, intestines, appendix. There are two types of gangrene, dry gangrene and wet gangrene and what when one another important type of gangrene which is the gas gangrene. Rodent ulcer or basal cell carcinoma. It is an invasive carcinoma of the basal layer of the epidermis. It is low grade, it has a low grade malignancy and it grows slowly. It occurs in fair and dry skin people generally. Diabetic ulcer, etiology, slight injury to glucose laden tissue leads to diabetic ulcer, ulcers, ischemia in food due to diabetic uh, atherosclerosis, diabetic polyneuropathy, the common sites are toes, legs and feet and the nature generally of diabetic ulcer is deep and spreading types. Trophic ulcer or phytogenic ulcer, it occurs in tropical countries Precipitating factors are malnutrition, poor immunity, trauma, insect bite. It starts as a pistule with extensive, of in, with extensive inflammation. The pistules burst and ulcers spread rapidly. Primary hemorrhage. It is a type of capillary hemorrhage depending on the timing of hemorrhage. It occurs at the time of injury or any operation. Secondary hemorrhage. It is a type of capillary hemorrhage depending on the timing of hemorrhage. It occurs after 7 to 14 days of injury or operations. It is. It also occurs due to infection and slowing of the vessel wall. Example, the bleeding occurs after, in, after 7 to 14 days of hemorrhoid operation. Reactionary hemorrhage. It is a type of capillary hemorrhage depending on timing of hemorrhage. It occurs after 7 to 14 hours of injury or operation. It is due to slipping of ligature, sneezing, coughing and vomiting. Toxic goiter or thyrotoxicosis. It is a complex disorder which occurs due to increased levels of thyroid hormone. It is clinically manifested with various signs and symptoms. Causes Graves disease, toxic adenoma, toxic multinodular goiter, neonatal thyrotoxicosis. Features of malignant tumor. It grows very rapidly and invades the adjacent tissues. Metastasis is generally present in all the malignant tumors and it is irregular in shape and it is poorly circumscribed. Edge of an ulcer. Edge of an ulcer. First, un undermined edge, it is seen in tuberculosis. Punched out edge, it is seen in trophic ulcers. Sloping edge, it is seen in healing ulcers. Raised and pearly white beaded edge, which is seen in rodent ulcer. And rolled out edge, it is seen in squamous cell carcinoma. Tumor or neoplasm. It is a mass of tissue formed as a result of abnormal, autonomous, excessive, uncoordinated and purposeless proliferation of cells even after stop of stimulus for growth. There are two types of tumor, benign tumor and malignant tumor. Indications for blood transfusion. The commonest blood tran transfusion is indicated during acute and major hemorrhages. The blood transfusion is indicated during major operations. The blood transfusion is indicated during anemia, anemia due to chronic blood loss in cases of hemorrhoid bleeding disorders and the blood transfusion is indicated during deep burns. Complications of blood transfusion. Immun immunological complications, hemolytic reactions, incompatibility reaction, non-hemolytic reactions which is febrile reaction, allergic reaction, acute lung injury and congestive cardiac failure which could occur. Infectious complications include serum hepatitis, AIDS, bacterial infections and syphilis. Ophistotonus, it is an abnormal condition in which the muscles of neck and trunk gradually become rigid and the back is slightly arched is called as a condition of ophistothonus. The rigidity due to spasms of the muscles takes place in this condition. Curling's ulcer. It is an acute peptic ulcer seen after severe burns when reduced plasma volume leads to ischemia and cell necrosis of gastric mucosa. So guys with this we have covered the next 25 2 markers of our series and these two markers and definitions are very important from my exam point of view and I am sure that it will help you all to revise this before your examinations or while going for the examinations while traveling or a day before examination. So what you can do is just watch this video at least once, twice or thrice and I am sure that the recitation which you have heard will help you remember and will be there in your subconscious mind and eventually will help you in while paper. So with this I, I end the part 2 of this series and I'll see you in the part 3 of this video and also please remember that I'll be releasing the notes of this same on my telegram channel once the video hits 1000 views and, a and 100 likes 
so please do complete that target as well and please also support us subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends and help them as well as it has helped you all as so i'll see you in the next one until until then goodbye and take care thank you